From Lindbergh Center in Minnetonka, Park TV 16 Sports presents the 2014 Section 6 3A Girls Volleyball Tournament. The quarterfinal game featuring the Benelt St. Margaret's Red Knights and the Wyzetta Trojans. Hi everybody, I'm Howard Wolof, welcoming you to the Section 6 3A quarterfinal game. The Hopkins Royals have advanced into the Section 6 semifinals by sweeping the Orono Spartans in three sets. And there are also games tonight in Eden Prairie featuring the Eden Prairie Eagles and the Adina Hornets and the Minneapolis Southwest Lakers and the Minnetonka Skippers. The Benel St. Margaret's Red Knights out of the Metro West Conference have a record of 20 and 7 on the season. According to head coach Fong Wong, it's their best start in 15 seasons. The Wyzetta Trojans out of the Lake Conference come into the match with a record of 19 and 9 as Benel St. Margaret's will serve first. Right side hit. Goes out of bounds. Benel St. Margaret's is on the board. We're glad you can join us from Lindbergh Center in Minnetonka. Serving for the Red Knights is Emma Sather. Left side hit. Goes off of Sather. It's all even at one, the first tie of the first set. Morgan Bothfield is in for the Trojans, and Sabrina Luer is serving. As the ball goes out of bounds, the Red Knights regain the lead. Wyzetta is the home team, the number three seed in the tournament. The Red Knights are number six in the seeding department. They are the guest team on the scoreboard. There is a kill. And it's all even at two, the second time of the first set. Two consecutive service errors for the Trojans regain the lead for the Red Knights. Maura Lisney will serve for Benil St. Margaret's. Buffield on the kill in the center front line on a pass from Kenzie Greckel. It's all even at three. And a block. And the back set. It will go out of bounds. Wyzetta regains the lead. The Trojans started the season six and one, then lost four straight to Chaska, Hopkins, Eden Prairie, and Minnetonka. As the Trojans have scored two in a row to take a two-point lead. Since ending their four-match losing streak, the Trojans have gone 13 and 4. Listening on the bump. And the kill in the center front line. The Trojans are up by 3. They are on a 3 0 run. A little bit difficult to pick up their numbers since they're wearing white uniforms with gold numbers. And the service error brings the ball back to the Red Knights. Lauren Jagerson is in for Wyzetta. Their head coach is Scott Jackson, who is in his 16th year heading the Trojans. And there's a kill on the left front line. Morgan Bothfield on the kill. It's a three-point lead for Wyzetta. And there's a back center on the right side. 
goes out of bounds. The Red Knights cut the lead. The Lions then a lead to two. There was a set in the center front that was taken. And the Trojans are up by three. Sarah Cassette will serve. And another point for YZ. Correction, that is Elizabeth Benson, one of the two setters for the Trojans. There's a block and a carry called on the Red Knights. The Trojans have doubled up the Red Knights since the 3-3 tie. The Trojans have outscored the Red Knights 7-2 as the ball goes out of bounds. Wyzetta is up by six as head coach Bong Wong will call timeout. Each team gets two timeouts per set. Unless the score is tied at 23, then each team gets an additional timeout. By the way, if you would like to order a copy of the Section 6 3A quarterfinal game, it's very easy to do. Go to www.parktv.org or you can phone our viewer hotline at 952-924-2635. That's 952-924-2635 where you can talk to our producer as well as our lone cameraman tonight, Paul Broden. The Red Knights advanced from the first round by sweeping the Cooper Hawks in three straight sets. St. Louis Park was eliminated in the first round by the Minneapolis Southwest Lakers in three sets. The Orioles concluded their first season under head coach Michelle Fuller. As Benson will continue to serve for YZ. I was talking with head coach Fong Long before the match, and he mentioned that one of the keys to the team's success was a two-day bonding trip for the team to Brainerd. They did some scrimmaging, and they got to know each other. As the ball goes out of bounds, the Red Knights end the string, and they trail by five. Emma Bird will serve for the Red Knights. Left side, there's a block on the right side. And also a net violation on the Red Knights, a point for the Trojans. More yeah, listening, the libero is back in for Benilde St. Margaret's. <laughs> Unable to get the ball, it's another Trojan point. The lead is seven. Kirsten Bryan serving for YZ. As the ball goes out of bounds, as listening goes after it, the lead is eight. As the Trojans are showing a lot of solid hitting in the first set. A service ace. That was Tia Dilly Starks on the serve. Listening in the back row. A net violation on the Red Knights. It is now a 10 point lead.
Kaylin Smith will enter for Benil St. Margaret's. As the ball goes out of bounds, the lead is 11. Little too much power on the last bump. Della Starks continues to serve for the Trojans. And the Red Knights in the string. A good bump at the left front line. Manny Houlihan will serve for Benil St. Margaret's. Manny will be playing softball next season at the University of Minnesota. They made it all the way to the NCAA tournament before losing to the Oregon Ducks. And a kill on the left front line. Kate Bird was on the kill for YZ. The lead is 11. And another point for the Trojans. The Red Knights have already used one timeout in the first set. And the lead is now 13. A net serve will bring the ball back to the Red Knights. Houlihan and Bird are back in for the Red Knights as Houlihan will serve. She will also play softball in the spring for Benilde St. Margaret's. A back set. A sidearm attempt from Perry Warren goes nowhere. The lead is now 13. Good effort by Perry Warren, one of the Red Knight captains. It's a point for Benil St. Margaret's as Lisney will serve. Lisney, a four-year starter, was made all-conference each year, but her serve goes out of bounds. The Trojans are three points away from taking the first set. It's the best three out of five sets. Lisney. There's a block. Good play in front of the net. And the kill from Tia Della starts. Two points to go for the Trojans. There's a high hit, retrieved by Lisney. The Red Knights pick up a point on a good sidearm hit from Matty Houlihan. Since we only have one camera, we do not have a replay of that last hit by Houlihan. There is also a net violation on the Red Knights. Set point, Trojans. Sabrina Luer is back in for YZ. A block on the right side. Brings the ball back to Benilde St. Margaret's. The ball went out of bounds. 
Sophie Weber will serve for the Red Knights. There's a block on the right side. Another block. The Red Knights stay alive. Paige Mazel on the block. A block on the right side and another point for Benil St. Margaret's. Three times the Trojans have gone for set point. The Red Knights have played stellar defense on the right side of the net. And a left side catch from Emma Bird. It is now a 10-point deficit for Benilde St. Margaret's. The ball goes into the net. Five in a row for the Trojans. For the Red Knights. And a block on the right side, six in a row for Benil St. Margaret's. They have battled back from a 14 point deficit. And they've trimmed it now to eight. As head coach Scott Jackson will call Wyzetta's first timeout of the first set. Benil St. Margaret's battling a set point with six consecutive points bolstered by outstanding line play. They've had successful blocks, including one from Paige Mazel and another from Sophie Weber. In October, Benilde St. Margaret's hosted their own tournament and one of the teams that the Red Knights lost to, as well as one of the top teams in Class 2A girls volleyball in Minnesota, Maple Lake. Maple Lake having another successful season under veteran head coach Marty Keeble. The first set will go to Wyzetta. 25-16. We will take a break and we'll be back with the second set of the 2014 Section 6-3A Girls Volleyball quarterfinal match featuring the Benilde St. Margaret's Red Knights and the Wyzetta Trojans. You're watching Girls High School Volleyball on Park TV 16. Introducing a breakthrough in time management technology. A whole new day of the week. It's called Someday. Ingenious. Perhaps someday you are going to go skydiving. Enter a hot dog eating contest. Maybe ride a mechanical bull. Now it's on the calendar. You may want to retire someday. Ready for that? You'll really want this. A My Social Security account at socialsecurity.gov. You can estimate your future benefits, plan for your retirement, and how to save for it. If you already receive benefits, you can manage them online. Millions of people already have a My Social Security account. In fact, someone opens one about every six seconds. Get yours today, because someday is here at socialsecurity.gov. Howard Lulock back at Hopkins High School. 
Lindbergh Center in Minnetonka as we're about to get ready for the second set of the best three out of five match in the Section 6-3A Girls Volleyball Tournament with the Wyzetta Trojans taking the first set 25-16. It was 24-10 and the Trojans had a number of opportunities to end the first set but Benil St. Margaret's with a couple of outstanding front line blocks kept it alive. But the Trojans pulled through when 25-16 as we're underway with the second set. And Perry Warren picks up the kill for the early Red Knight lead. Houlihan will serve for the Red Knights. Listening in the back row. There is also a net violation against the Red Knights. It's all even at one, the first tie of the second set. There were three ties in the first set and one, two, and three before the Trojans pulled away to a lead as a back tie as 11. There's a block on the right side. And a net violation on Wyzetta. Benil St. Margaret's back in front as the libero comes in for the Trojans, Riley Wilson. Listening with a serve. Two in a row for the Red Knights on another Trojan violation. Left side set. And the kill for the Trojans. A one-handed hit goes out of bounds and a point for the Trojans. It's all even at three, the second time of the second set. The ball goes into the net. The Red Knights regain the lead. Hannah Anderson is back in for Benilde St. Margaret's. The assistant coaches for the Red Knights. Ashley Whitman, the former Shakopee standout, who went on to greater success with the University of Minnesota Golden Gophers under head coach Mike Hebert. And Bethany Thompson was a member of the Bemidji State women's volleyball team. Wyzetta has regained the lead. That was Dilly Starks on the hit. The ball goes out of bounds. Wyzetta regains the lead. A sidearm hit results in a Trojan point. They're up by two. A block on the right side. A net violation of Benilde St. Margaret's 
A 3-0 run for the Trojans. A service ace. The lead is now four. As Kaylin Smith is back in for Benilde St. Margaret's. It's a 5-0 run for Wyzetta. The ball goes into the net. The Red Knights pick up a point and will serve. Warren is back in for the Red Knights. Mazel on the serve. It goes out of bounds. Bowfield is back in for the Trojans. The ball stays in bounds and a point for the Red Knights. Emma Sather is back in for Benilde St. Margaret's and she will serve. Goes off of listening. A block in the center by Warren. And a point for the Red Knights. It is now a three point Trojan lead. A net violation on the Red Knights. It's a four point lead for the Trojans. Warren, a block on the left side by Kate Bird and Sabrina Luer. Lure described by Wyzetta head coach Scott Jackson as a very good frontline player. It is now a six point lead for Wyzetta. As the ball goes out of bounds and heading for the retractable bleachers. Nobody's sitting in them, so they will not get a souvenir ball. The serve goes out of bounds. The Red Knights get the ball back. Houlihan returning for the Red Knights. Houlihan, a left-handed server. From the back row, but it goes out of bounds and a point for Wyzetta. Bowfield is back in for the Trojans. A couple of serves have gone out of bounds. The lead is six for the Trojans. Goes into the net. Two in a row for Benilde St. Margaret's. 
Maura Listening will serve for the Red Knights. There's a kill. It goes out of bounds. The lead is down to four. A race for the ball, but it goes out of bounds. A point for Wyzetta. Listening. That was Berg on the kill. The lead is six. The winner plays the second seeded Hopkins Royals, who swept the Orono Spartans in the first quarterfinal game, three sets to none. As the Red Knights will get the ball back. Hannah Miller will serve for the Red Knights. As the ball goes into the net on a forehead violation, Benil St. Margaret's has battled back to come within four. But the ball gets out of bounds and Wyzetta will serve. Listening in the back row. Jiggerson with a violation. Danil St. Margaret's will serve. Deficit is down to three. They battled back in the first set but couldn't put it away. Now they're three points away from evening the game at 19. The set, I mean. But the ball goes out of bounds. The Trojans are five points away from taking a two set lead. It's a service ace. That was Balfield with the ace. And a kill for the Red Knights. Back to a four point deficit, 21-17. The ball goes into the net. Wyzetta three points away. Benson and Balfield back in for the Trojans. Billy Stark's shot goes into the net. It will be the serve for the Red Knights. Sather will serve. It's an ace for Sather.
A race for the ball near the partition. Goes out of bounds. The Trojans are two points away. A good solid effort by Lisney and Warren to save the ball. But at least they didn't crash into the partition. And fortunately, they're all right. A good block by Warren. Goes out of bounds. It's a three point lead for Wyzetta as Houlihan returns for the Red Knights. The lead is down to two. Goes out of bounds, set point, Trojans. Bowfield is back in. Luer will serve. Goes out of bounds, the Red Knights remain alive on a hit from Warren. Wyzetta up by two. Goes out of bounds. It's a one point Trojan lead. In the first set it took six attempts for Wyzetta to close out the set. Takes a two set lead, winning the second set 25 to 23. We will take a break and we'll be back with the third and possibly deciding set of the 2014 Section 6 3A Girls Volleyball Quarterfinals. You're watching Girls High School Volleyball on Park TV 16. Patty, let me be honest with you. Won't filing for Social Security benefits online be confusing? George, it's simple and easy, and you can do it in your pajamas from the comfort of your own home. Oh, my. You've navigated through asteroid belts, right? Oh, sure, plenty of times. Well, compared to that, navigating socialsecurity.gov is a snap. Really? It's so easy, even Kirk could do it. <laughs> Howard Lulaf back at Lindbergh Center in Minnetonka. As we get set for the third and possibly deciding set of the 2014 Section 63A Girls Volleyball quarterfinals with the Benel St. Margaret's in a two-set hole against the Wyzetta Trojans. Time now for the top 10 teams in Class 3A Girls Volleyball. The number one teams, the Prior Lake Lakers, Chaska is second. The top seeded team in section six, 3A. Eden Prairie is third. Egan is fourth. The Hopkins Royals, who swept the Orono Spartans in three, are fifth. North St. Paul is sixth. Lakeville South is seventh. Roseville is eighth. The Delano Tigers are ninth. And the Wyzetta Trojans round out the top 10. Warren with a sidearm hit. And a block on the left side by Bird. There's a net violation on the Red Knights and a point for the Trojans. The Trojans played during the regular season at the Southwest Minnesota Challenge in Marshall. They did not get to play the perennial power Marshall Tigers since they lost to St. Michael Albertville. 
Marshall with three consecutive Class 2A volleyball titles. And there is a block from Warren. It's all even at one, the first time of the third set. Houlihan will serve for the Red Knights. Goes off of Houlihan. Wyzetta regains the lead. In Class 2A girls volleyball, Jackson County Central is number one, Marshall is third, Belle Plaine fifth, Maple Lake is sixth, Jordan, St. Croix Lutheran, Concordia Academy, and Sibley East round out the top ten. If there are a couple of good small school conferences in girls volleyball, you have the Prime Metro Conference and the Minnesota River Conference with Jordan, Belle Plaine, and Sibley East. And it's all even at two, the second tie of the third set. And third goes out of base and a point for the Red Knights. The Red Knights had the early lead in the second set. But came close but couldn't finish off the Trojans. As the Red Knights go up with two with a ball bouncing against the net. Listney will serve for Benil St. Margaret's. As the ball goes into the net, a point for the Trojans. A right side kill. From Hannah Miller. Hannah Anderson will serve for Benilde St. Margaret's. Who are up by two. As the ball goes under the net, Red Knight head coach Fong Long wondered what was going on. As the officials were discussing whether or not the ball went off a player. There's a bit of a summit meeting at the official stand. And the point goes to the Red Knights, who are up by three. They are on a 3-0 run. Anderson with a serve, a strong right side hitter. The ball gets out of bounds on a point for the Trojans. Lure back in for Wyzetta. Goes out of bounds, a point for the Red Knights. Emma Bird will serve. Goes out of bounds, a point for the Trojans. Yeah. 
The ball goes out of bounds. It's a one point lead for the Red Knights. They were up 7 4, and Lysena has gone on a 2 0 run. The Red Knights get the ball back as Warren returns for Benil St. Margaret's. Goes off a bird and a point for the Trojans. Warren and goes into the net and the Red Knights pick up a point. Sather back in for Benil St. Margaret's. Listening. Warren in the hit. Warren in the kill. It's a two point lead for Benil St. Margaret's. A couple of good hits from Perry Warren, one of the senior captains. And the ball goes out of bounds. It's a two point lead for the Red Knights. As a number of Hopkins players are looking on for this match. They will play the winner next Tuesday, October 28th at Benilde St. Margaret's. That's why Zeta cuts the Red Knight lead to one. Warren, the ball goes under the net and it's all even at 10. The third tie of the third set. The back set to Lisney. Lysena gains the lead. Good passing by the Trojans as Luer will serve. And there's a back center on the right, and a block from Bird and Warren. It's all even now at 11. Good defense on the left side from Bird and Warren. Houlihan with a serve. As the ball goes into the net, Wyzetta regains the lead. Jagerson is back in for the Trojans. Warren on the kill. Perry Warren has been having an outstanding third set. Evens the set of 12, the fifth tie of the third set. Listening. A block on the right side, and the Red Knights retain the lead. Listening with a serve as the Red Knights are in a 6 2 offense. 
And it's only going to 13, time number six. Thirteen, thirteen. There's a kill in the center. From Bird, the Red Knights are back in front. Cal with the serve. And the Trojans tie again at 14. Tie number seven. There have been ties at 11, 12, 13, and 14, as well as one and three. There's a block on the left side. Wyzetta regains the lead. It's all even at 15, tie number eight. As Bird returns for Benilde St. Margaret's. A good low ball play from the Trojans. Goes into the net. Wyzetta regains the lead. Benson is back in for the Trojans. It's a two-point lead for the Trojans. Listening. for Wyzetta. The lead is three. The Trojans have been on a 3-0 run since the set was even at 15. And head coach Fong Long will call timeout, the first timeout of the third set. Reminder once again, if you would like to order a copy of the 2014 Section 6 3A quarterfinal match, go to www.parktv dot org or phone of your hotline at 952-924-2635. That's 952-924-2635. The fall sports season is winding down for the Mill St. Margaret's and St. Louis Park. Both football teams are in section semifinal play on Saturday, October 25th. St. Louis Park will play at Minneapolis Southwest at 7 p.m. Park TV 16 more than likely will be covering the semifinal as the Oriole football team played a wild one against Bloomington Kennedy on October 21st, winning 74-41. Sounds more like a basketball score. But there were a lot of points in that football game. Meanwhile, the sport is volleyball as the Red Knights cut the Trojan lead to one. They 
will get the ball back. As far as the Red Knight football team is concerned, they're in the same section with one of the top 4A teams, the De La Salle Islanders, who have an outstanding quarterback in Billy Hart. A block on the right side by Warren goes out of bounds and a point for the Trojans for five points away from facing their late conference rival, Hopkins, in the semifinals. Eden Prairie is already in, sweeping the Edina Hornets. As the ball just out of bounds, the Red Knights get the ball back. Riley Wilson is back in for the Trojans. And Emma Sathers back in for the Red Knights. Good front line play. Listening. Goes off the bird and goes out of bounds. The lead is three. A sidearm hit by listening. There's a block on the right side by Warren and Miller. The lead is down to two. Goes out of bounds. The Trojans are three points away from the semifinals. But the Nil St. Margaret's will use their second timeout of the third set. They are down by three, 22 19. The Red Knights have went into the section semi quarterfinals winning their winning nine of their last ten matches. As for the Trojans, they started the season six and one. As we remind you once again, the winner will play Hopkins in the semifinals at Benil St. Margaret's. Eaton Prairie is also in. They will play the winner of Minneapolis Southwest and Minnetonka. So there could be three late conference teams in the four semifinal berths on the road to the state tournament at the XL Energy Center November 6th through the 8th. I stand corrected. There will be, if Minnetonka wins, there will be an all Lake Conference Final Four in Section 6 girls volleyball. As the Trojans have set points. Trojans have advanced to the Section 6 3A semifinals, winning the third set 25 to 19. Here's a recap of the Section 6 3A girls volleyball quarterfinal match. It was close at the first set for 
both the Nils St. Margaret's at Wyzen and before the Trojans pulled away. They were up 25, 24, 10 until the Red Knights prevented the set point six times to cut the lead to eight. But Wyzetta picked up the set point to win 25-16. In the second set, the Red Knights battled back a number of times, even taking the lead. But a couple of key plays from the Trojans helped Wyzetta win 25-23. And in the third set, Benel St. Margaret's had the early lead, even coming close but Wyzetta had some key hits near the end to take the third set, 25-19, and end the Red Knights season three sets to none. The Wyzetta Trojans improved their record to 20 wins and nine defeats and will play the Hopkins Royals on Tuesday, October 28th in the Section 6 AA, Correction sex, Section 6, 3A semifinals at Benilde St. Margaret's in St. Louis Park. The Benilde St. Margaret's Red Knights season comes to an end at 20 and 8. Their best record in 15 seasons. Congratulations to head coach Fong Wong, as well as assistant coaches Ashley Whitman and Bethany Thompson on an outstanding season. The Red Knights will lose six players to graduation, including Hannah Anderson, Maddie Houlihan, four-time all-conference winner, Maura Listening, and Claire Kalb, as well as Sophie Weber. But hopefully they'll find some players from the lower level teams to fill the void in 2015. the end to an outstanding season for the Benilde St. Margaret's Red Knights. In the other Section 6 3A semifinal game that will also be played at Benilde St. Margaret's, Eden Prairie will play the winner of Minneapolis Southwest, Minnetonka. So there's a very good chance that there could be an all Lake Conference Final Four in girls volleyball. Grand producer, director, and lone cameraman Paul Broden, this is Howard Woolock saying goodbye and reminding you once again the final score in the quarterfinals of the Section 6 3A Girls Volleyball Tournament. Wyzetta Trojans beating.